Hello and welcome back to another guide video. I'm your lovely Manji assistant by the name of Baker. We're gonna go over Shaheen this time, the first Arabic character to ever be in Tekken 7 and he has intrigued me quite a lot, but nevertheless, let's get started. So this first one's a little bit weird, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's 4 plus 2 into 4 into down forward, not the actual high. If he cancels it, it's negative 18 on block, but if you do manage to block it, you can duck the last hit being high and punish that. Shaheen's down 3 without going into stealth is actually quite negative on block. It is a low strike that's negative 17 on block. Shaheen's down back 3 in and of itself is a very negative move on block. It's probably unwise and it probably won't happen, but this move is negative 17 to negative 16 on block. Uh, what most people will probably go for would be down back plus 3 into 4. The 4 in and of itself is high, however that move is negative 13 on block. But since it is a high, you can remain crouched and then wall rising punish this move. Yoshimitsu can also flash this move as well. Back plus 4. This move is very, very simple. This move is mid. It's a very effective move. It's negative 15 on block. The more simple punishes will work. The more complex ones will not. Shaheen's Wall Rising 2. This move is a very special move. It's a spin move. It's an elbow so it can't be parried. It's negative 17 on block though. You can get every launch. At least for Yoshimitsu, you can get every launch that you want. While rising 3 into 3, it's a 2 hit string, typically used at the end of a wall combo. This move is actually quite launch punishable on block, but how much are you asking? It is negative. 11 to negative 15. The second hit is really what gets them put into the dirt. So, Shaheen also has a sweep kind of like Forest Law, Lee, a lot of people who have these ridiculous ass slides. Uh, however, the proper way to punish it would be in, with the uh, for Yoshimitsu, right? The proper way of punishing this move wouldn't be with Wild Rising 2 1 as you see on the screen, it would be with uh, Wild Rising 4 into a crouch dash 2 and that's how you ideally want to punish this move since he's on the ground but he's considered in the, in the air when you block this move so bear that in mind one one two is a three hit string this move is negative 13 to negative 12 on block the last hit can be delayed for baiting it is a it'll counter hit and it will lead to a combo 124 is another variant of this 1 2 string. It is flash viable, but you would have to like just frame flash this move. Four into four is a two hit set of kicks. This move is negative 13 to negative 12 on block. 4 plus 2 and a 3 is a 2 hit set of jailing highs. Luckily these highs are negative 12 on block. I did a bit of fooling around with this one, but 4 plus 2 and a 4, uh, I know I put, I went over that in the launch punishment section, but if they don't go through that last hit and just leave it at the low like that, it is negative 13 to negative 12 on block. Forward 3 plus 4 into down forward going into a stealth stance is a two, head, two hit set of strings and it's negative 11 on block. If he was to do down forward to go into a stealth step he would actually be plus 1 
Uh, this move is also really weird. Don't trust me fully on this one. Down plus four, despite what anyone will tell you, is actually negative 12 on block. However, this distance is just absolutely amazing. This move is hardly punishable, but if you are in a situation where you can't punish it, it is very punishable. That's weird. Down back plus two into one is somewhat similar to Lee and King's four plus two into one. Uh, you want to duck the last hit. You can't flash it, unfortunately. But, you know, of course you want to just duck this move ideally. Down back plus four is the second extension of the down back plus three in the four string. This move on its own is high and also negative 13. Oh my god, we're back with more hop kicks. It's negative 13. Forward forward plus three is a national <laughs> holy shit yeah, okay it's a mid throw launcher right if the mid hits from directly in front of you it will throw you to a launcher it is negative 12 on block this section is going to be about me going over Shaheen's stealth uh, stealth stance inputs all right the stealth stance can be done by doing two segments of down forward down forward it can also be done by doing neutral three into down forward, forward plus two into four into down plus forward, forward three plus four into down plus forward, down plus three into down plus forward, and down back plus two into down, <laughs> into down plus forward. I'm sorry. As far as the actual stance inputs, you are going to do one. One is a high strike that is plus one on block. This move is very, very safe. Two is a mid strike being negative 13 to negative 12 on block. Three from a distance is the mid throw. It's the same as forward four plus three as I covered earlier. And from a very, really far away distance, it, it'll just knock you down. Four is a sweeping low that is negative 19 on block. You can get a wall rising punish from this move. And last but not least, one plus two is a throw, which is a one plus two break. Lastly, for Shaheen's 10 hit combo, you want to low parry the seventh hit. It is, it is very well seeable. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me on this journey so far. This will mark the end of my punishment guide for Shaheen. I appreciate all you guys. You guys constantly give me the motivation to keep doing this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for telling me on what I can do different. Take care and be sure to tell a loved one that you love them.